I'm telling you, even these bigger crappie will still hit those small lures. That was just the bare trout magnet uh, in the bulldog color, straight up. No attractant bites, nothing like that on this one. And he hit that thing. What a doll. Turn loose. Hey folks, Chris here with Pistol Creek Pan Fishing. Hope you're doing well. You know, for pretty much my whole life, people been telling me that I ain't got enough sense to get in out of the rain. Well, today, we're gonna prove them right, because we're gonna take a kayak out on the water and do some ultralight crappie fishing on a cold, rainy fall day. I seem to remember reading in an article online or in a magazine a few years back that rainy weather can be real conducive to fishing sometimes. Mentioned something about how the rain aerates and cools the water surface, which in turn activates the fish bite. Now, I don't know if that's 100% scientifically true or not, but what I do know is, is in my own personal experience, I've had some absolutely fantastic fishing days when there's been either a light or moderate rain. For any of you guys out there who enjoy fishing in the rain or have had some experience with it in the past, drop a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on that. Have you had any better luck when it's raining versus when it's not? Are certain fish species biting better than others? I'd love to hear from you. In the footage you're about to see, there was plenty of rain, but thankfully there were also plenty of crappie. But before we jump into the fishing action, let's take a quick look at the gear we're going to be using today. Our sea-going vessel for today is going to be the Lifetime Charger 100 sit-in kayak. I purchased this little jewel back during the summer when the boat ramps were crowded, and I did more fool with taking my Palm Prowler 8 out. The chargers also allow me to do a little bit more river fishing and to get out there and explore some areas with limited access points, which has been nice. Another benefit of having a small kayak like this one, and the reason we'll be using it here today, is that it's also more wet weather friendly than my Palm Prowler. There's no electronics, batteries, or gear to keep dry, and it's quick and easy to just throw it in the truck bed and go. The Charger 100 is 10 feet long, 30 inches wide, and weighs just 46 and a half pounds. It comes with a padded seat, front and rear bungee storage, and a paddle. Back at the time when I purchased this one, I think they were going for around 250 bucks or so, and for this price point, it's been a fine little kayak. I've had a whole lot of fun fishing with it. Our rod and reel combo today is going to be the Daiwa Presso 5.5 foot ultralight fast action rod paired with a Daiwa Revros LT1000 series reel. Our Revros is spooled up with some Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon line in two pound test. And neither rain, sleet, or snow is going to keep us from catching crappie today because we're going to be fishing with a trout magnet in the bulldog color. We're also going to be using one of the Fin Commander Fin Spin jig heads from Leland's Lowers crappie magnet line in the 1 16th ounce and paired with the Norma Jean color crappie magnet. All right, so we've got our gear there and the only thing left to do is get out on the water and catch a few crappie. I hope you enjoy the footage. I had a whole lot of fun making this one. Even though it was raining, it was a great time to be out there and I pretty much had the lake to myself. But thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. these up on this spot right here see if there's any crappie hanging out here comes one Gorgeous fish. I'll take that all day long. Let's turn him loose here. Well, there comes a the fish. 
This feels like a pretty good one here. Pretty fish. Let's turn him loose here. There comes one. Ooh, a good one. Man, that's a good crappie. Stay on there, buddy. Stay on there, dude. Golly. That is an absolute beauty of a white crappie there. Look at that thing. Got some girth on him. All right. Another nice one. Oh, yeah. On down there, big boy. We're just going to take a look at you for a minute. We'll put you right back, I promise. Boy, that is a tanker right there. Yes. I'm telling you, even these bigger crappie will still hit those small lures. That was just the bare trout magnet uh, in the bulldog color. Straight up, no attractant bites, nothing like that on this one. And he hit that thing. What a doll. Let's turn loose. There's one hit it almost when it got out of the water. Oh. That ain't no crappie. That ain't no crappie. I don't know what this is. but I don't want it to bust my trout magnet off here on me. It's a big old skipjack. Look at that. It's pretty for a skipjack. Not what we're looking for. There he comes. Boy, I'll tell you, catching these crappie on this ultralight tackle is about as fun as it gets. Yes, sir. Let's let him go here. Uh oh, he's upside down. There he goes. It's another fish.
short there. It's got some pretty color to it. There he comes. This one got a little bit of air when he came up out of the water there. Let's <laughs> turn him loose. There he comes. They're biting pretty good today. This rain ain't hurting them a bit. Another one. Pretty little black crappie there. There's one. Just a little short there. There's one. This one hit it on the drop. That trout magnet was just falling down there and he grabbed it. They do that sometimes. You know, aside from just flat out catching fish, there's another nice thing about these trout magnets and that's that they're real easy to fish. Look here. Speaking of easy, we got that one easy as we please. But yeah, you just don't have to do a whole lot with these things. You just cast them out, let them sink about halfway down into the whatever depth of water you're fishing. And usually that's enough to find the old crappie here. They'll come up and get them. They like them.